excited. Thank I'm you so, so excited. much. Thank you so much to have uh, you here at my home in New York and to discuss what fabulous things about our friendship and our work. Of and your work and I mean persistence, persistence, persistence. Gabriel is the owner of GRB Communications, um, which is a publicist. Yes. Company. Tell us a little bit about your company. Um, GRB Communications actually started uh, around five years ago and it's a, a boutique public relations company uh, dedicated in art and fashion but mostly fashion mostly and fashion. it's something, something unique and really cool and really nice about I would say very proud about GRB Communications is to acknowledge the um, Latin designers in particular fashion designers that in kind of certain they didn't have the voice or the know-how and through our knowledge of working with the new york uh, fashion industry uh it's a, a way a platform from them to cross and to be global through yeah. us so this is the baby yes it's a new baby it's called mm -hmm. Nuevo new york mm -hmm. and tell us a little bit about this sure. beautiful book um this is actually the dream come true it's like a my wow. biggest dream ever. Uh, it's we did a book together with uh, Hans Newman, which is also co-author of the book. Uh, he worked with Mario Testino, and uh, he approached me years ago, like four or five years ago, to discuss uh, a possibility to do a book about the Latin community in New York. Yeah. And I always been involved in this in this uh, commu in my community. And what a perfect way of making a book, right? Celebrating um, art and fashion, uh, the art in the industry that they're established, they're emerging, and they are masters. You know, we have uh, Carolina Ay, Herrera, Carolina we have Nina Garcia right Nina here. Garcia, uh, you have the most prominent uh, inspirational uh, personalities of the Latin community in New York. They're based, they work, and they live here, and they have demonstrated the world our, you know, our beautiful uh, colors of, of culture and work. Who was the hardest person to, to that that you worked on and worked on and worked on till finally she said or he said mm -hmm. yes I'll be part of your book it actually was easier than what I thought in that side I thought it was gonna be more difficult and more like oh they're gonna say no you know they don't know us uh, do, you, do you maybe know why it would why it's so easy well to... no 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 because I think what was going on politically right now in our community in our situation Absolutely. I think all of us felt that it was some time and moment to support each other and I think that helped us a lot was well, the moment that is going on and that was I was surprised and that side we were like okay you know we got positive uh, probably one that I was scared and I said oh my god she's gonna say no she's gonna take time was Carolina Herrera uh, that was uh, Herrera, uh, because you know she, for us she's like the leader of our community but um, it was to capture every person, everything original. The interview, yeah. the photos, the editing, I mean the design, everything is 100% original. So I tell everyone if you have the opportunity to do a book, do it, do it, do it, right. do it. Doesn't matter if you want to talk about trees, cities, people, love, I don't know. It, it, it's just beautiful because you feel, I mean, I don't have a baby, but I, I, I know I know. I this is a baby. This is to me is, is like a baby. So I'm pretty sure it's like having a beautiful baby. I don't know. You know, it's, 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 it's beyond your expectatives. I would never, ever in my, in my dreams thought that it was the most beautiful feeling. Wow. Everybody yeah. in this book is kind of a celebrity. You know, the there's major, bigger I would say everyone. smaller yeah. celebrities, yeah. but yeah. there's still, yeah. all these people are mm -hmm. celebrities. Exactly. So exactly. they're very hard to get. Yes. And mm -hmm. I'm wondering, like, do you have any anecdotes of like any funny moments that you might remember? Like, give us one thing that if somebody told you, yes. tell us one going, thing about the book. Well, going to what Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> that I was, uh, as a co-author, I had to see, you know, the questions of the interview. I had the opportunity to be face to face. And they would tell you things that they never told everyone else, anybody else. Wow. Because they felt this was home. It was their opportunity that it was them. And I realized, I mean, I'm telling you from everyone in the book, because I read many things about them, their biographies, you know, through other magazines, uh, interviews, TV interviews, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to know how they reflect their personality. And I was very intimidated. I was very scared, to be honest, when we were interviewing certain people. I said, how are we gonna break the ice? Right away, they mm. broke the ice when you say, what does New York mean to you? It was beautiful. That is a great question. And they all just let it go. And then also what does Latin means being to you? What 
or where you come from or your country and they were so proud they were so happy they were they really felt it was their moment and that was beautiful uh, all the latin americans from different statu uh, is, uh, statues um, yeah that's coming nice. doesn't matter if you came from money old money new money no money it, they all have a dream and it was new york and you can feel it you moved to this country you were yes. 13 yes and you mm -hmm. moved to mm -hmm. i think california california the culture in mexico not only is strong but it mm -hmm. has so much history and tradition yes involved in it yes. how was how is it integrating mm -hmm. that and the american culture when you were 13 i mean you're an adolescent you come to the u.s right and you're 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 struck with an American culture mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. your strong mm -hmm. upgrade, upbringing mm -hmm. as a Mexican right, person. Right. So how did that work for you? You know, it's, it's like mixing um, guacamole with ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we are. What was the process of actually starting in New York? Do you have mm -hmm. anybody that you could say that absolutely helped you in every step of the way, that guided you through being in New York? I came to New York, I knew you, you, I knew other people as well, so you kind of, just knowing someone, you feel at least uh, someone is there, you know what I mean? Because absolutely. New York, it's extremely difficult, especially if you come like with nothing kind of thing, you're like, oh my God, what am I doing? But then I met also Carlos Campos, which helped me Gosh. through many years in New York. Um, he's been here since he was like 13 years old, I believe. So he knew the, the know-how of New York. And I learned a lot through him and he did help me. And then I met all the people that we know, you and I know. So everyone yes. help each other. And I think that's how you feel. If you have an amazing project, people will respect. Have you ever wanted to change something about yourself? Oh yeah, many things. Ooh, and I change a lot of things. Uh, I think it's good to make changes in your life if it's gonna make you look better physically, mentally, good. and socially. Why not? Why not, right? Yeah, I mean, many I don't things. Think there's and I want to change a lot of things. Oh. I, I think you're fabulous anyway. I used to steal those Barbie shoes when I was a kid. I remember going through the U.S. a vacation, and I would go to Kmart. I mean, I couldn't buy the Barbie because I was embarrassed. I would get beat up or something. And I would steal all the shoes, and I love them. Well, I'm obsessed with Barbie obsessed. shoes also. It was just, oh, I guess because fashion. To be irreplaceable, you have to be different. Right. Do you feel that? Do you feel that you're different? Everyone is different. Everyone is different. Everyone is different. I think... Uh, uh, if you really think about it, we all have our own beauty of personality and that's the beauty of the human being. The only thing we have to do to be different is to make something different, I would say. Uh -huh. We are different, but to make something that makes you different from everyone else, to me, that's the key and the goal. That's the key and the goal. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much, Gabriel, thank for you. joining us thank today. You, thank you. Guys, Gabriel Rivera Barraza. Um, of course, it's not New York. It's all about New York, guys. It's all about New York. Go buy your book on Amazon soon. It'll also be on, what's the store Luisa online? Luisa Roma. LuisaViaRoma.com. Com. It is a beautiful book. Pictures of all these fabulous, fabulous Latin Americans that have changed New York. So don't forget to, you know, go for that. And thank you for being uh, here with us. Thank you, Gabriel. It has been no, no, a thank pleasure. You, More. Thank you. And now we have to go look fabulous.